Good morning and happy Monday. Welcome back to the Daily Grind. I'm your host, Chump Change. Just live recorded. We're going to go over some crypto news. Bitcoin has been exploding. It's at 41,000, almost 42. Absolutely absurd. We have some uh, a Casper video I want to watch. My man, Tactical Investing. It was actually a pretty decent one. Kind of goes over just Casper as a whole and seeing where it could go. The pet of hash on the network, if it's going to get to 100 or not. I know it's like upwards of 80 right now or something along those lines. And uh, yeah, we're going to watch a video from Altcoin Daily, see what they have to say about the ETF. Uh, let's see who's here in the chat, and then we'll get into this. Mr. Andrew Massad, good morning. Good morning. We have Dan R., Chris Hanley in the chat, Crypto KJ, my man Leo Lustig, good morning. Let's see. Steven Cicero, as always. We have Broskies, good to see you. Mr. Dumpsterfire, Sustainable Crypto, Nerd Beast. And if I missed anybody, I apologize. I know there's a few other people here, but I'm sorry. I cannot say hello to everybody. All right, let's get into this. Let's see what Bitcoin's looking like today. Damn, we are in the deep green. Look at this, man. 41,825. We have Ethereum 2250. I woke up. My portfolio was extremely happy this morning when I checked it. It was very nice. Very nice. We have BCH at twenty, uh, $245. Damn, that took a nice jump. Casp is almost at 14 and a half cents. Man, absolutely wild. Wild to see. Dogecoin's almost nine cents. Eight and seven. Jeez. Wow, things are looking pretty good. Let's check out crypto bubbles. This is on the week. I want to see the biggest earner here first. We're looking at Ordi. Right? Is that ordinal? Nope, that's just Ordi, I guess. <laughs> it's $41 and 86 cents, up 116%. We have Terra Classic, which I I still don't fully understand how this coin's still around, but it's ranked 45 and it's up upwards of, uh, I don't even know how you say that, but it's 0002 after the decimal. So it's less than a penny, but it's up 114% on the, on the week. We have IOTA, is that how you say that? IOTA, 90.7% 90, 90 up, 32 cents. Let's check out the day. What's the biggest earner of the day? Let's see, man, it's crazy that Bitcoin's only 5.5% up on the day, but we're still looking at almost a $42,000 Bitcoin. Absolutely fantastic. Luna, look at this. What is this? Terra, Terra Luna is up 22.8%, dollar and six cents. Crazy, crazy. Renders up 4.6%. We have $3.82. Renders actually doing pretty good. Pepe is up. Wow, it's actually in the top 100 coins. What? Damn. I mean, I think it was before, but we haven't seen it here in a little bit. I don't think that's up 7.6% today. Crack share up 12.3. Uh, let's see. Conflux. Conflux is up 17 cents. Not too bad. It's up 6.9%. All right. Shout out the fear and greed index. What is that? All right. We have 74, 74. We'll push it 75. When we get there, that's when it's like, for me, it's time to start looking into uh, maybe just get out and wait until we have a pullback. But We've seen this thing peg in, in the 90s, so it's, you know, flip a coin, choose what you will, pick a side. All right, top 10 coins by Coin Market Cap over on CoinGecko. We have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, BNB, XRP, Solana, uh, USDC, Lido Staked, Ether, Cardano, and Dogecoin still in 10th. We have Litecoin jumped up to 17th, Shiba's in 19th, Bitcoin Cash in 20th, and Caspa. Oh shit, Caspa flipped Monero again. Holy hell! In, in uh, perfect. I stole DJ Mines sound bites. If you guys didn't notice, we have 25th place. This is crazy. 3.1 billion dollar market cap. Wow, that is crazy. Ethereum Classics in 28th. We have Monero in 26th. That's crazy. And Crow Crypto.com's Crow's in 30th. Man, that's wild. That is wild to see. Absolutely love it. All right, let's check out the miners today see what's the top earner we have the wind miner k9 still pulling in 221 dollars per day we have the ant miner ks3 9.4 tera hash which is 200 dollars a day and the ks3 8.3 tera hash which is pulling in 177 a day we have the ice river ks3 which is eight tera hashes 170 dollars a day the ks3m six tera hashes 125 dollars a day and the ks2 which is two tera hashes at 41 dollars Looking at the KS1, we're getting about 154 Caspa per day at $20 a day. Uh, let's see. Where's the KS Pro? Where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, God. It's falling off the list just before I get mine. Mine are supposed to come Wednesday. Supposed to come Wednesday. Here we go. Oh, what's going on? The Pro's not here anymore. Weird. Unless I skipped it. 
we have the OG KS0 at 100 giga hashes, making $2 a day. So the Ice River uh, Pros, the KS0 Pros, should be making about five bucks. I don't know why they're not on the list. Weird. Uh, it's either that or I'm just blind. Pretty sure they're not here. Anyways, the Jazzminer X16Q looking like we're making $6.25 a day. Mr. Oh, geez. Crypto KJ. Crypto K, you made me, you, you just reminded me. I don't know what I what I did yesterday. I apologize, guys, because I, I clearly ruined this uh this node thing. But holy shit, this did break a new all-time high ETC pile for ETC nodes. If you guys didn't see that video yesterday, go check it out. It actually a lot of people are interested in it, but damn, two dollars sixty-five cents for ETC pile now. Man, wonder what these things are making per day on the nodes. Crazy, crazy. I'm hoping that you know what? My only reservation here is I want to make sure that I can cash out my coins and i get paid and everything's good because i heard it could take up once you once you actually initiate the payout you have to like fill in your information or something i haven't done it yet but I, apparently you fill in your information the user the uh registered name or whatever and the email and all that then they get to verify it and pay you so it could take like i don't know two to four days or some shit, right so i don't know that's a long time for me but whatever we'll see what happens i mean i did pay for my licenses we're all good to go so two dollars 65 cents that's pretty crazy that is pretty crazy are there any other miners you guys want to look at here in the chat real quick uh broski says if the ks0 makes you 10 cents a day put it to solo mine and hit a block yeah that's actually not a bad idea uh let's see wait kyc to get paid says mr peak of all trades no, no 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 not kyc it's just your username your username and your contact address i assume the email or whatever that you uh signed up with but no not kyc <laughs> uh that bothers me too people saying 20 roi 20 roi I. mr crypto kj i'm trying to follow you andrew Massad, i was debating on releasing them to be honest the ks0 pro stands we'll see we'll see if you guys want them in vip let me know i'll probably offer them to you guys first uh mr retro mike tech says chump it took five days for me to get my last payout but right now one payout breaks even on the node plus some wow that's actually awesome oh yeah that's true actually because yeah you'd be getting what's 100 minimum of 100 so yeah you'd be getting 265 dollars on one payout from one node and that should take you about anywhere from i guess i i'm not into my first you know what hold on let me see if i can get to uh my remote desktop connection let me get into this quick uh yeah 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 let's see it's my node this is my first oh god it's off no peer damn it all right well i don't know how long this has been off let's see oh wait no why is it scrolled way up what the hell oh it's on what the hell was that about that scared the shit out of me it was scrolled all the way up to the top all right so right now i'm at 83 e uh eth pow right i mean uh etc pow rather so we have um yeah 83 it's again two dollars sixty whatever cents but you can't cash it out until a hundred so i don't know we're gonna have to see this has been up in mining or not mining just i guess verifying the blockchain for about i think i did it like a week ago i think it was like a week ago roughly maybe a little less but a little less than a week for 80 83 of those etc pow at 265 that is a uh, that's pretty good uh pretty good yield in my opinion i don't know what you guys think but yeah i think it's pretty decent right all right, let's get into the news stuff. Let's see what we got going on over here. We have Bitcoin breaks 41,000 as gold prices reach a new all time high. If anybody's holding gold, congrats. You should definitely diversify your portfolios. Just my opinion. All right, let's see. Uh, it says Bitcoin price is surging in lockstep with gold as the precious metal hits a new historical high, suggesting investors are preparing for stock market turmoil. <sighs> Ooh, that's pretty terrible. We have the price of gold has broken through a new all-time high, surpassing the significant level of 2100 during the Asian session on Monday, December 4th. Meanwhile, Bitcoin has also surged above 41,000 for the first time in 19 months. Perfect. Hell yeah, that's amazing. Uh, let's see. Actually, you know, let's click on this chart. Let's see. So this is gold down here. 2000. Nice, nice. Bitcoin just showing the breaking over. 41 that's crazy. i still can't believe we're up here man that's crazy that's deep green that is some deep green on that chart or on that uh that site we have uh bitcoin has made a triumph return to the 40,000 threshold a figure unseen since the highs of april 2022 this includes a swift two percent jump over 24 hours 
making a 19 month peak for cryptocurrency shout out to bitcoin everybody Perfect. holding it you guys are awesome all right let's check out the sec right here the sec is facing another defeat in its recycled lawsuit against kraken securities and exchange commission is suing kraken for selling cryptocurrencies but looks like a recycled version of a losing lawsuit and you know we actually watched up the last week during one of the morning shows and uh yeah i agree i don't think they're gonna get too far in this lawsuit to be honest it's uh the guy the guy that the what the cnbc lady interviewed he was like yeah this doesn't exist like there is there's there's no legs to stand on for them basically and he was beyond pissed talking to her so <laughs> it was it was kind of interesting uh the legal duel between the united states security and exchange commissions the sec and kraken a leading cryptocurrency exchange looks like another misguided attempt by the sec to exert control over the industry that fundamentally challenges an outdated regulatory playbook the agency's lawsuit filed in november accuses kraken of operating as an unregistered securities exchange which if you guys don't know kraken already paid them 30 million dollars in a fine and they thought it was like okay here you go here's your money leave me alone <laughs> they walked away for like six months they came back and they're like hey by the way we're gonna sue you again because uh we have nothing better to do gary gensler wants to he wants to build bags of bitcoin and that's for sure so don't let him tell you otherwise the lawsuit isn't just a repeat of the sec's past failures it it's also a glaring example of regulatory overreach that fails to grasp the essence of cryptocurrency it mirrors the agency's actions against coinbase which mark a pattern of aggressive aggressive regulation that is both infect ineffectual as i say that and counterproductive uh in the, its case against coinbase the sec allegations similarly similarly i can't even say that word god damn i cannot say that word involved operating as an unregistered securities exchange the approach fundamentally misunderstands the nature of cryptocurrency exchanges all right i'm not going to go on and read this entire thing but if you guys would like the link is in the description below i do not think that the sec has any legs to stand on here when it comes to arguing against kraken for the same bullshit they already lost against or you know got paid to leave me alone for all right let's get into this i want to uh get cracking on mr tactical investing this guy made a pretty decent video about um just caspa will it explode in 2024 but are we too late we're gonna find out i want to see what he has to say about it if you guys have any questions just at me in the chat let's do it when i first talked about caspa uh caspa was at two tenths of a penny two tenths now, the cost of being a caspa millionaire at that point has drastically changed to where it is today. And to be quite honest, that number will be even more expensive from an attainability standpoint in just six weeks. All right, his videos might be better, but let's be real, my, co my coffee mugs are better. Just saying. Now, the timeline, <laughs> considering that we're already in December, January is right around the corner, and considering one specific metric that makes this entire cryptocurrency market possibly being turned completely upside down in 2024 on a positive note, it's coming. It's, it's very, very, very close, and most people won't recognize it until the gains are already made. Don't be one of those people, and we'll talk about be how one. the opportunity is just around the corner. If you're new here, my name is Alex, talk about crypto, crypto news, crypto passive income. If you enjoy content like this, consider subscribing. His video link is in the description below if you guys are interested in Alex. If you love Caspa, smash up the like. Without further ado, let's move the video. Now, today's video. I'm going to jump forward oh. a little bit. So, if you guys are interested, again, I do have in the pinned comment, it is uh, the Tangent Wallet. That's what he was uh, kind of showing there at the beginning. But you can use his code, my code. I have it in the pinned comment. If you guys are interested in holding cryptocurrency, obviously, long term, don't keep it on an exchange. We have, um, you know, Caspa. That's one of the only hardware wallets that it can actually be held on. So I use it literally every day. It's where I buy my Caspa too. So let me know if you guys use it in the chat. On a cold storage wallet. Christmas is right around the corner. And what better way than to protect your cryptocurrency as a gift to yourself or He's maybe not to wrong. a loved one. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link down below in the description. With that said, back to the video. Now, I get a question asked of me every now and again of, Alex, is it too late? to get into Caspa. Has Caspa already seen all the returns? Is, is, it, is it done and, and, and is, there's nothing left in the tank? 
Uh, and, and I have to, and I struggle myself oftentimes with this question. Caspa's done a 740x in the midst of a bear market. That's crazy. Is there still room to go for Caspa? And so Caspa's killing it 740x in the bear market, and it's never seen a bull market. What do you guys think this is realistically going to get to? Let me know in the chat. Like, do you guys, for one, do you hold Caspa? Let me know if you hold it. And two, what do you think the price will get to? So either a yes or a no, and then whatever the price you think it'll be. As I, I was thinking about this question, I had to go back to the very first times when I talked about Caspa uh, on on my channel. Now I had been- Oh, Mr. Uh, Retro Mike Tech said, uh, one key touch can also hold Caspa, works on a PC. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, interesting. Thank you, Retro Mike. You're awesome. Mining Appreciate Caspa it. with about 30 GPUs by this point already. But Caspa, as you can see here, and this is my video back in September 5th of 2022, it was at two tenths of a penny. Now, mind you, by holy this shit, that was in September. That was in that was only a couple months ago. What point? Caspa had already done a ten wow. x. That's crazy. Uh, it already dropped a zero, if you will. I talked about it again, uh, March of this year. Caspa at this point had already done another ten x, more than a ten x. It was up forty six percent that day. And All right, hold on. I got. I got to look at something. All right, so looking at. Caspa, let's see where are we at. I just want, I just want to look real quick. Uh, what the hell? Why? What is that? Apparently, you can't hit the enter. You have to click on it. All right, uh, real quick. We have fourteen two. Ah, uh, God, go away. What is that? Man, this is why I use Brave Browser. But Brave Browser was crashing my computer the other day. I don't know. If you guys saw that on Saturday. Like literally, three streams crashed. All right, so three billion dollar market cap. That would put us up to. Uh, let me see uh it wouldn't be what would it be four uh damn it what would it be times i don't know let's say eight let's say eight. a little less than eight so it'll be seven uh let me see 14 times seven to get to about a dollar i'm just trying to see so seven times right so it'd be 21 21 million or 21 billion rather dollar market cap 21 billion where would we be 21 billion we would be roughly for it to get to a dollar we'd have to have a 21 dollar 21 billion dollar market cap which would put us in eighth place right below usdc in, in seventh crazy crazy i mean it's it's definitely possible definitely possible but a lot of people themselves asking that day is this all that there is for caspa is, is this going to be everything that we see caspa at that point had a market cap of just half a billion dollars and once Jeez. again i talked about caspa this is a bit of a oh september 2022 not this year oh i got you correction okay. caspa sitting here just around three cents 2.8 cents uh had hit an all-time high at that point, a four cents, and everyone was freaking out. Caspa just hit four cents. It was absolutely insane. And for the very first time, broke into the top 100. Wait, so when was that? That was in April, 2023. And you know what? So that's when I bought into Caspa. It was, it, it felt like it was way too late, but it it wasn't. And it was kind of uh, just a shot in the dark. I was like, you know what? I kind of see this project and it doing well. And that's when I jumped in personally and it stopped at 14, it's crazy. And so I want to give you this kind of representation of when I first talked about Caspa. And, and a lot of people would have looked at that point and, and just completely exited because they'd gotten their 10x. They were happy with it. And, and that was that. And yet, when we look as to how far Caspa continued, um, you, you just simply look at this kind of time graph. And it's just absolutely insane. Remember, we're still way back here. This is this is the point where we talk about Caspa and it's already done at 10x, right? And you it, know what? I actually bought in, I think it was on the, because we had a dip after the four cents. I think I jumped back in when it was rising back up at the four cents. And, not and we're not even at four cents. And so as you just continue on this chart and scroll back up, as you can look, and, and the the price of Caspa. If, if you guys have never moved these charts around, it's a pain in the ass. That's why he's having such a hard has, time. <laughs> you know, from that point, it's just been absolutely insane. It's a confident and chart. So That's what I it looks like. A lot of, uh, I want people to be reminded that Caspa in and of itself has always done Caspa things. Um, I, I don't know of a lot of cryptocurrency projects that have done 740x returns in the midst of a bear market. It's it's really very it's uncommon. Crazy. 
uh, and especially to the quality of a project that Casper is. So I want to remind people that when you look at the price action of Casper and you look at it, you look at this chart and you ask yourself, is Casper done? It's not the very first time people have asked themselves that question. People ask that question. I asked my, myself that question when I started mining Casper after it had already done a 10x back here. Back here. I talked about, you Casper. know, to be fair, I, I, so like, <clears throat> I know Dogecoin's a meme and it's totally like, you know, not even close to the same. But when Dogecoin was way under a penny, and I, I think it was like five decimal points and then whatever numbers, right? I ended up, uh, I purchased some on Robinhood when I first got into crypto. <clears throat> I think I lost like 20 bucks. I was like, oh, fuck this. I'm out. <laughs> when I got out and then I watched the bull run happen after I started getting into mining, I was like, I would have so much fucking money right now if I didn't just, if I didn't sell that Bitcoin, I mean that uh, Dogecoin for a loss, I would be loaded. And then, yeah. But again, so, here. And so you realize went. that this would not have been possible if I completely exited out of everything back here because I was, you know, happy with the 10x. That was that. Uh, and, and I missed out on the rest of the opportunity. Now, yes, did I take some profits along the way? For sure. I think it's always healthy to take profits along the way. But I have to remind myself that this is what a lot of people are going to miss out in 2024, 2020. It's, it's most likely going to do a similar thing. But I mean, again, guys, this is all speculative. So don't just take it with a grain of salt, right? Uh, real quick, Dan R said, me too, but I was new to crypto. Yeah, me too. I didn't know anything about crypto. Absolutely nothing. But I just knew it was cheap and you can get a bunch for like 100 bucks. You know what I mean? 25. People are, are looking at this right here is where we are right about here when it comes to Casper. Th this is what 2024, in my opinion, 2024 and 2025 are going to look like. For this cryptocurrency project now I hope so. considering today bitcoin hit nearly forty thousand dollars it was absolutely obviously it was recorded before it hit 41 but it's almost at 42 000 absolutely insane. Right now. you can see here the last time bitcoin had seven green weekly candles was back in 2020 this was Ooh. end of 2020 that's interesting oh god my kid's yelling and ironically enough somewhat close to the same time frame um the first of these oh, wow. was october of 2020 the first one here october of 2023 kind of ironic we had seven green candles one two three four five six seven five. guys if you want bitcoin to pump hit that like button appreciate you followed by a little bit of sideways movement and then from this point from 18.5 we went to $66,000 Bitcoin. Now, today, in the past seven weeks, when we look at this. Oh, real quick, Dan R in the chat says, Doge at 0.78 cents. He said, I would have had $247,000 if I held RIP, bro. <gasps> That's terrible. This was a 10 point move. So essentially, no regrets. Bitcoin went from around 10.5 <laughs> to like almost 19. It was about a nine point move. Here, Bitcoin goes from 27 to 39. So a little bit more, but it's absolutely insane. A lot of people are stuck in this mindset that, oh, well, this time will be different. This time is just going to be not the same. History oftentimes doesn't repeat, but it does rhyme. Nothing is always going to be exact, but oftentimes it will be quite similar. And so when a lot of people look at something like this, and I, I, I think there's going to be a period of consolidation, especially around this 40K the mark. There's going to that's, be... That's crazy resemblance, though, right there. Seven green candles. I didn't know that. That was uh, a big deal on the weekly. That's nuts. A lot of resistance, just like there was resistance here at 20K. There's going to be quite a bit of resistance uh, at 40K. But at the point that gets broken, we saw an additional one, two, three, four weekly green candles going from 20K to 40k doubling in price so imagine going from 40k to 80k in the course of a month that is absolutely insane and the perfect storm is brewing you've got spot bitcoin etfs possibly on the verge of being approved and you have to consider that when bitcoin moves oftentimes your alts are going to move significantly more than 
Bitcoin does. We saw real quick Yeti in the chat. He's talking to Mr. Broski. He says Yeti audits are now five if we also include chum change. Listen, we are we are the OGs, you and me, man. What do you mean include me? Messed up. No, I'm just kidding. But we have to get back to that actually. And did you actually do an audit on ETC Pow yet, Mr. Yeti? If you could, that'd be great. I like the project, but I don't know much about it in the background. We saw this with Solano. We saw this with Matic Polygon. We saw this with a lot of uh, cryptos in the, the play to earn niche. 2024 is going to be an absolutely crazy year. And who knows what 2025 is going to look like. But when you ask yourself, Alex, oh, is man, it if I could draw a chart, if I had that little drawing thing like DJ, I would have just drew it through a chart like just straight up just straight boner candle that's what 2025 is gonna look like too late <laughs> is all of the look at this look at andy look at andy over here a million dollar crypto portfolio savage absolute Perfect. savage tank completely gone i think we're not even getting started and this is summarized uh by a friend of mine your friend andy also a youtuber he's a crypto millionaire again so huge shout out to to Andy. That's awesome. And and he ends this with saying, I think we're just getting started. And I couldn't agree we are. with Andy anymore on the point that I think we're just getting started when it comes to the cryptocurrency bull market. And so You know what DJ was talking about this the other night. He said um well, it was on Saturday night live. You guys didn't see that. It was absolutely hysterical this Saturday, but um talking about the uh my friend Andy and Panda, right? So Panda wanted to prove that it was more worth it to mine cryptocurrency versus just buy the coin. So Panda told his viewers on a video that the rig that he was building for, I think it was for Chlor AI, if I'm not mistaken, it was worth $1,800. So your friend Andy heard that. He purchased the coin for $1,800, and now it's upwards of $50,000. <laughs> and Panda's still mining his is is coin over there so in some instances it's just cheaper to buy the coin to be honest and it's smarter but when sometimes. we look at some of the the details and we've looked at this before in the past uh and we showcase Crazy. this consistently week over week caspa mining network hash rate hit an all-time high at 90 petahash i said uh really I, I believe when i first started really covering caspa i said caspa will hit 100 petahash by the end of the year it's probably gonna um, that prediction that is edge. looking to be coming out to be true. Um, and the price action of Caspa has been extremely good now. Oh, shit. Look I, at that flag he drew. What? Nice. I'm not a charter, but criticized for downplaying TA and, and and sometimes TA has a really good place in, in the world. Other times, I mean, if you look at it, it lands directly on the support once it flips and Man, we're, this is really, it looks like it's gearing up for another The pump. value of the protocol uh, is, is what is out, stands out to me a little bit more. But from a TA perspective, if you will, Caspa is just looking really, really good. Now, a lot of people are going to say, well, Caspa is going to go to 20 cents by the end of this year. It could. Hope so. I think realistically, Caspa will definitely be uh, more than 20 cents in a bull market. But I had an interesting article. Uh, published by Altcoin Buzz. Uh, I followed Altcoin Buzz for quite a while, and they've put out some pretty good articles before in the past. Um, but they talk about, you know, Caspa, kind of the same idea. Caspa is already up 740x in the midst of a bear market. It's crazy. So what could Caspa go to in the bull market? So how much Cas would equal $1 million? And it's a question that I've tackled on the channel before. Is Again, we just talked about if caspa got to a dollar right from right where it's at now okay it's looking at again it's 14 14 two right so roughly a 7x from where it's at with a three billion dollar market cap to get up to it would be about 21 billion for a, a dollar right and again it would be it would be roughly right above it'd be in eighth place right below usdc right above lido staked ether kicking dogecoin into 11th that would be unreal i guess we'll have to see if it actually happens but how much Caspa do you need to be happen. a Caspa millionaire? Uh, and essentially, that's going to vary depending on your price of accumulation, um, the or the cost of that Caspa. How much ca how much will it cost you in buying up that Caspa to be a a millionaire? Now, in this uh, scenario, I said in the next two to five years, they see Caspa going to three to five dollars. What? I mean, it would three to five dollars. 
That seems like a lot. I'm not going to lie. Like, listen, I like Caspa. I like it. I want it to go there. Three to five dollars, though. Three to five dollars. Hold on. Even thinking about that math, three to five dollars would be roughly $21 billion market cap, right? That would be at a dollar. If it was at three, that's 63 billion, right? 63 billion. That'd be crazy. 63. Where would that land us? Is that three dollars? 63 would put us in fourth place. In fourth place. And then if we did, let's see, was it 21 times five? It was five dollars. Be 105 billion and put us in third place. That would go over Tether USDT. You guys think that's possible? Let me know. Three to five is a lot. That's a lot. It would be worth around 100 billion. Well, maybe. I which wish. would mean you would need 333,000 Caspa. Listen, now, listen. If that happens, I'm buying a yacht and we're all having a party. Now, if you were to do the basic <laughs> that math happens, that'd be crazy. today, um, that would cost you. And by the way, my wife gets seasick. So, well, uh, yeah. The yacht's not definitely not the first choice, but I'll do it for you guys. <laughs> We'll just do 14 cents, around $46,000 uh, to be a, a quote unquote potential Caspa millionaire in a bull market scenario. That's but crazy. I want to remind everyone that uh, in, in this instance, on the upper range, you know, it would take 11000 almost $12,000 worth of Caspa. Uh, you would only need 200000 But only. I want to remind everyone that only the cost of Caspa. <laughs> From when I talked about it in this video, the amount of Caspa you would have need to have had, the, the how much it would have cost you was one fiftieth, one fiftieth of when I talked about Caspa in this video. So I want you to realize that yes, Caspa has done over a 50x since I covered it on the channel. Perfect. But in my opinion, it's just the beginning for Caspa. Because if you're looking at this range, three. To five, I, I, I agree. I think it's just the beginning, but I don't think, I don't know. Three to five dollars, that's a lot. That's a real lot, man. I don't want people to live off that hopium, to be honest. I, I think we should focus on like, you know, maybe hitting 25 cents, and then 50 cents, then a dollar, but not, I, I wouldn't, I don't know. Don't put too many eggs in one basket. That's all I got to say. You know what which I, mean? I think five is extremely bullish. Even though I'm bullish um, on it. Very much on the high scale. I, I, I realistically think. A two to three dollar cash, but is more realistic. That's just me. I like to be very moderate in my approach to price predictions. That's still another 20x from where it is today. And I've had people before say when Caspa was at three cents and had done a 20x from when I covered it, people would say, Well, that was it for Caspa. And then he's not went, wrong because a lot of people were hating on it, didn't think it was gonna pump again. To do what it did. So I consider the fact that when I look at Caspa today, I look at it and see how Caspa has performed in the past to predict its future. And I think there's a lot more left in the tank for Caspa in 2024. But a lot As do I. What do you guys think about that? I think that was pretty much the end of the video. But I mean, looking at like, a, again, a hundred, that would be a hundred uh, billion dollar market cap, right? That would, make it, that would make it third place. Third place. Is that unreal? Do you guys think that Caspa could realistically get to third place? Even, I mean, realistically, even getting to the top 10 as a whole. Like, even that's an accomplishment for a coin that started in the bear market, never seen a bull market. If that ever got to the top 10, I mean, it has climbed ranks and it's in 25th, man. Like, it's at a $3 billion market cap right now. And if you look at all these coins above it, this leo token whatever this is stellar okb uh uniswap these are only like this one's like less than half a billion dollars away these th next three and then we're looking at oh sorry yeah half a billion dollars away and then we're looking at like a billion and a half away to 21st and then once we get there it's like i don't know i don't know man i'd be i'd be extremely impressed if it flipped litecoin to be honest litecoin's probably the next like major jump for me you know the 5.5 billion dollar market cap if it if it flipped that then that would probably be a, a tall tale sign that we're gonna see that thing get up to top 10 that would be my opinion just because litecoin's an og man litecoin was the original silver to bitcoin's gold right that that's just the truth that's where it was and now with caspa coming in low fees super fast it's gonna be like so much faster than anything you guys have ever seen 
it, it's 100% possible. It is 100% possible that it could get there. So Litecoin, I think Litecoin personally is the, 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 the biggest hurdle. If it gets over that, I have no doubt in my mind that thing will get to a top 10. That's just my opinion. You guys take it as you will. I mean, if Dogecoin's in top 10, there's no reason that a coin with utility can't get there. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion. You guys let me know what you think about that in the chat. <clears throat> Casper better flip BCH. Where's BCH? 20th. Oh, I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. Yeah, I'm sure it will. It's only 1.8 billion away. I say only it's a shit ton of money, but you know what I mean? In the grand scheme of things, it's really not that much. Um, yeah, I, I don't see why it won't. Like, listen, Sheep is 19th, bro. <laughs> like, like there's no, this is a meme coin. Like, this is a meme coin. That could be a, a, a poop emoji and people would buy it because it says Shiba. I don't understand it, but whatever. It is what it is. All right, uh, let's get over to Mr. Allcoin Daily's video. I want to see what he has to say. BlackRock, Bitcoin, and Ethereum ETF, massive news. I don't know how much, uh, I don't know how legit this title is, but we're going to see. We're going to see what he has to say about it, and we'll go from there. Let's do it. This hasn't happened to Bitcoin in six years. Bitcoin's overall supply on exchanges is down to just 5.38%, the lowest it's been since December of 2017. Wow, nice. Hey guys, make sure you uh, go check out Tactical Investing, by the way, down in the uh, description below. Shout out to him for that video earlier. Smash the like button. Let's get this out there to as many people as possible. Bitcoin's price has risen above $38,000. as Bitcoin Guys, hit that like button if you want it to go to 42K. Come on, let's Bitcoin go. Supply on exchanges drops to 5.38%, the lowest it's been since December of 2017, amid declining trust in exchanges, following the likes of events like FTX collapse, Binance legal troubles, this trend towards Bitcoin self-custody, because that's what they're doing. They're taking Bitcoin off of exchanges where they could sell and moving it into long-term self-custody wallets. Smart. This is seen as bullish and in fact has contributed to Bitcoin's significant rally of 130% since the year's start. Again, I do not care which wallet you guys use, but in the live chat, I have a pinned comment for the Tangem wallet. You guys can get Ellie Pal. Like I have, I have a bunch of Ellie Pals actually. They have this one too. This is the 2.0 that just came out. I highly recommend you guys keep your stuff on a wallet. Please don't keep it on exchanges. Just don't trust people like that. I mean, unless you're like looking to sell it in a week or two, just try to get something to hold your crypto on. Let's talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum because. I'm not I, I personally love my tangent. It's so easy. I just put it in my wallet. It's literally just a card. You scan it with your phone. Like, it's so freaking easy. I love sure it. If you're aware, I'm not sure if you've seen this. Seven spot Ethereum ETFs have been filed. There's about 12 plus Bitcoin spot ETFs and now seven plus spot Ethereum ETFs. BlackRock, Fidelity, VanEck, Grayscale. These institutions all want in and check out this list, the most updated list of deadlines for the seven spot Ethereum ETFs. Make sure you subscribe. We'll keep you updated on all of this, just like we're doing now. Spot ETFs, the impact of these on both Bitcoin and Ethereum is huge. Most people don't realize what I'm about to share with you guys. Send this video to a friend because this is exactly what spot Bitcoin ETFs and spot Ethereum ETFs are going to do to the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum. You need to understand this. Talk of ETF approval misses the forest for the trees. It's not just about immediate reactions or flows. It's about the recognition of Bitcoin and Ethereum as an institutional asset. That's an extremely true, a true statement. Pensions, endowments, insurance investment portfolios, etc., will soon be entering the arena with passive buy side flows for the long term. So hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I have to read this in chat. Mr. Foley Electric just said uh, the Zelcor wallet is going away sometime next year. Dan stated, so I am moving either from my hot wallet to Tangium. And all my other S coins will be on the exchange, LMAO. Yeah, I, to be honest, I keep some shit coins on exchange too. Like my Shiba is all just sitting in Coinbase. Um, but realistically, like, what do you mean? How is it going away? How are you? What about nodes? Isn't that how you do the nodes right now through through Zelcor? What? Overboard Tech said, no, it's seamlessly rebranding re to Core. Oh, they're rebranding Zelcor. Wow, that's weird. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's messed up. Holy shit, Old War Tech is saying, Christ, this FUD. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to be honest, okay? I like, I, I don't mind any projects. I have nothing against anybody. I just never like Zelcor. I'm not, 
You know what I mean? It's just not for me. I didn't like that wallet, to be honest. But that's just whatever. I'd rather have like a, a, a self-custody wallet like Tangem or Elipal or Ledger. Just something that's not like on my desktop ready to be compromised. You know what I mean? Understand the momentum. In December of 2020, Mass Mutual, an institution, invested $100 million into Bitcoin. We covered this. This was a big deal at the time. In fact, it was massive. Except not really. Mass Mutual manages $235 billion in assets. $100 million of Bitcoin is it's about a 0.05% allocation. This is a big deal, but with these ETFs, we're about to see inflow of much, much more than this. And large institutional investors don't purchase something to flip in the next month. They're constructing portfolios for multiple decades. So a 0.05% allocation is literally just the start. There are many more mass mutuals out there, and all of these allocators are staring at their bond portfolio, which is down 50% from all-time highs, questioning previous assumptions that they held. And the endorsement of Bitcoin and now Ethereum from the likes of BlackRock and CEO Larry Fink isn't a sign that Larry and BlackRock is suddenly a Bitcoin bull. It's a sign that clients are knocking on BlackRock's door asking for a vehicle to gain exposure. And the narrative violations are strong in TradFi. Passive accumulation of Bitcoin. So cost averaging Bitcoin from Bitcoin's all-time high. If you started buying Bitcoin at Bitcoin's all-time high of $69,000, that would put you up 45% right now on your Bitcoin position if you were passively cost averaging. The same passive allocation into long bonds has you down 12%. But the volatility. Guys, volatility is opportunity. Again, it's a misunderstanding of time horizon. A 1% allocation to an asset that they don't plan to liquidate for years or decades with an extremely strong sharp ratio is within their risk profile. If you want Sorry, I didn't mean to cut him off. Fully Electric is saying Overboard Tech, it's not rebrand. It's all new wallet, all new code for the Zelcor. Uh, but he did say it may be an easy move to the new wallet, but it's not guaranteed. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I would just swap it out and then swap it back in when it's done. But when it gets closer, I mean, your, your stuff's safe right now. It's not going to just like disappear tomorrow. But definitely join Discords and find out like, the info on that because you guys don't want to be like panicking where the hell's my stuff like I, it's happened to me before it sucks trust me on proof just look at the rest of their portfolio so no bitcoin is not going away ethereum is not going away no neither bitcoin nor ethereum died when ftx collapsed yes supply is held more tight than ever before yes perpetual credit expansion of the fiat monetary system is an ongoing reality no there's no sense of fiscal austerity present anywhere Yes, this illiquidity means marginal flows into the market send the price higher, which is why all of these institutions will start with a tiny 0.05% stake while continuing to passively allocate steadily for the long term. Re and that, that's true. It is really for long term. What BlackRock's going towards, you know, like 401ks, Roth IRAs, like just your typical everyday like mom and pop that want to invest into normal stuff. Like they're going to take, you know, a percentage of their portfolio if they have some sort of financial advisor and be like, hey, Let's put a little bit over here just because crypto is, you know, seeming it's going to be it's seemingly like the future, right? Like that's where it's going. And it, it's kind of uh, inevitable, to be honest. So I think that uh, the long term growth of Bitcoin, Ethereum with these uh, spot ETFs are a good thing. But at the same time, it's double edged sword because BlackRock's going to be controlling all your stuff. Right. Again, they're going to give you this little sticky note saying, trust me, bro. I got your Bitcoin. You got this many shares. You know what I mean? It's kind of. I don't know. It's one of those things. You got to take it with a grain of salt, you know? Enforcing all of this with Bitcoin is the shift in narrative and negative bias around energy usage and mining evidenced by new academic papers on mining as a tool for balancing the grid and monetizing waste energy. Oh, wow. Wow. Now, now it's a good thing. Now it's a good thing. And like what? A year ago, it was really bad. You can read any Insane. of these. And of course, Ethereum doesn't suffer from this negative press. TLDR, the landscape. And, and if you guys don't know, Ethereum is proof of stake, which is why it doesn't suffer from the, you know, electrical negative press bullshit. Profile of the asset has shifted of Bitcoin, of Ethereum, of crypto. It's not about the ETF. It's about the reason why the ETF is coming. Facts, Mr. Fully Electric. Have a good, I mean, uh, sorry, Leo Lustig. Have a good day. Appreciate you, buddy. Hit that like button. Perfect. You guys are awesome. Institutional exposure has been given a green light. 
It won't happen all at once, but understand the shift that is underway. Bitcoin and Ethereum has been passively accumulated by individuals and retail for some time now, while institutions mostly watched the madness from the sidelines. This is all changing. Guys, smash the like button. Send this video to a friend. We need to get this Please information out there. Please hit that like button. Appreciate People you. People will thank you. Unless you're driving. And this is all a tale as old as time. Yeah, banks didn't like Bitcoin in the beginning. That's all changing. Oh, Just shit, like this is kind of cool. didn't like Uber, hotels didn't like Airbnb, stores didn't like Amazon, theaters didn't like Netflix. And nobody liked Blockbuster because they didn't make the list. That's unfortunate. But the world is trending digital. <laughs> this is all happening. There's no stopping it. We show you, you the revolution shit? of cryptocurrency on a daily basis. You would have known months ago that cryptocurrency is going to come back if you would have subscribed to us. So, guys... This bull market is just getting started. Make sure you subscribe to us. We update you on a daily basis. Real quick, Altcoin Daily once again has received a great honor. We're oh, not hold on. Actually, you know what? This categories award. Hold on. We have to go to it. We have to go to it. Because our boy, somehow, I don't know who the hell, uh, who, who puts this thing together. But our boy, Mr. Hot Crypto is on here. I was like, what? Look at this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what this category is. Mr. Hawk Crypto Mining is on here. How do you vote? It just takes me to his channel. How do you vote? Forgot. I gotta vote. We gotta, we gotta do this for Hawk. I don't give a shit about anybody else. I'm just gonna vote on him only. Where is it? Where is it? God damn it. Just because I love Hawk. I don't know how he made the list. I don't know how you even make the list. You have to sign up for it? Like, what is this? Oh, look, mind your business there, too. God damn. You know what? I'm gonna... I guess I have to fill this whole thing out. Do I have to fill this all out? Damn it. Yeah, I gotta fill out the whole thing. All right. You know what? Let's we'll do this together right at the end. Right at the end. Let's 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 finish this and then we'll we'll vote for everybody. You guys can you guys can pick it in the chat with nominated me. for a Web3 Influencer Award. We've participated in this in past years and actually been winners in past years. This is such a big deal for us, but we need your help, my friends. Please, I'm gonna leave a link below. But does this honestly even matter? Does Head on matter? over and vote for your favorite but, influencers in general, cool. but specifically Altcoin Daily for best current events coverage. We've been with you every step of the bear market. It literally takes 60 seconds to cast a vote for Altcoin Daily. I'll leave the link below. Please. Oh, you know what? Yeah, Serpent is there too. I saw him on a different category, actually. We'll, we'll vote for him too. Click through and for vote sure. for Altcoin Daily and vote for your favorite influencers. And let me know in the comments if you did. Appreciate you guys. Let's get to some Altcoin. Uh, I'll, I'll just go, you know, myself. Coin news. Coinbase <laughs> plans to integrate with Solana. Coinbase plans to add Solana Rails. This is a big deal for Solana holders. And overall, this is towards Coinbase's goal. The company wants transactions on its platform. I only live stream every day. Hawk makes like one video a month. Son of a bitch. Under one cent and under <laughs> one cent, under one second and under one Just cent. Kidding. To do that, Coinbase will be integrating not only Solana, but Bitcoin Lightning Network and other layer ones that are very fast like Solana, CEO Brian Armstrong told Decrypt. And this cycle, in my opinion, never been a better time to be bullish on altcoins because the there's so did much- Did somebody steal DJ's uh, thing? The way he did like the tiers and the logos? That's exactly what this looks like. I mean, I guess this is, uh, this is different categories, right? But that tier thing that DJ did is actually badass. Going for them versus any other cycle. So this is not even Avalanche's ecosystem. This is a vertical of an ecosystem. This is Avalanche's GameFi gaming ecosystem. Looks quite impressive. Polygon, though, dealt a major PR blow. A lot of people saying this is a major chink in Polygon's armor. The news is that Polygon um, gave... Did he mean to say kink? <laughs> did he mean to say kink? Is that, that, sounded, uh, that sounded slightly racist. Oh, uh, now it's not going to play. It's not going to play now. Polygon, though, a dealt a that. major PR blow. A lot of people saying this is a major chink in Polygon's Ooh. armor. The news <laughs> is that Polygon gave DraftKings, you know DraftKings, there was a big deal when the, this partnership was announced, using Polygon, oh, running a terrible. Polygon validator. Apparently, Polygon gave DraftKings multi-million dollar edge in special staking relationships. So they gave them an unfair edge, it sounds like. Blockchain data shows... Doesn't you know you can't say things like that anymore? Like, you can't? The crypto project quietly gave DraftKings preferential treatment <laughs> while telling the public it was an equal member of the validator community. 
Sports betting company DraftKings publicly agreed in early 2022 to be a network validator that helped run the Polygon blockchain. Well, on-chain data shows that Polygon gave DraftKings millions of Matic... Hold on, hold on. Patrick Murray said, no, no. Kink and armor doesn't mean the same thing. I'm not reading the rest of that. Okay, it is. That is, I guess that is correct then. I just feel like that. I don't know. I've heard that like as a derogatory term. I've never used it, like heard that in a sentence like properly. You know what I mean? Tokens to Weird. help its validator turn a massive profit. Learn something new every day. Little precedent. And then on top of that, even though it was being subsidized, draft. Yeah, actually looking at it, well, how you wrote it, Mr. Andrew Masad, it sounds about Kings right. Kings failed to maintain its validator's performance and was kicked off the network last month. Just kind of showing that seems like they never really cared in the first place. Despite this, and this is not good, I, I still think Polygon is one of the better projects going into this next bull run, and taking a look at the price seems like this was little effect on the market. Now, this is major news for IOTA, but IOTA, it's not even last cycle's altcoin. It's like two, three cycles ago altcoin. So I don't know, is IOTA, Internet of Things, still in the conversation in a big way? Well, According to this news, I mean, this is good news. IOTA launches a 100 million Abu Dhabi foundation for Middle East expansion. The IOTA ecosystem DLT foundation is the first, in fact, to receive approval from the regulators in Abu Dhabi after its financial authority passed a new related law earlier this month. So Interesting. Mr. Nerby said, can confirm it is the right word for that expression. Still sounds weird. Yeah, it did. It caught me off guard. So we're going to dive deeper into this. We'll we'll give you an update in the coming days, coming weeks. But uh, interesting, because I really haven't heard a lot about IOTA in not even years, in cycles, it seems like. Polkadot, many of you have been asking me for an update on mm. popular L1 Polkadot. This is that update. And guys, if you Who, want... Who's into Polkadot, actually? Does anybody own any of it? Let me know Let in the chat. update our community on a certain altcoin project, let me know in the comments below. Put, put a one in the chat if you own Polkadot. Oh, I'll be reading. But this is the update on Polkadot. Polkadot is dead. Polkadot is dead. Just has more than 5,000 monthly code commits and hundreds of active developers building on it daily. Polkadot is dead. Just was never mentioned by the SEC as a security because it's just software. Polkadot is dead. Just... It's superior SDK being constantly integrated by other major L1 blockchains. Polkadot is dead, just has a treasury with around 44 million in DOT. That's 220 million to distribute for ecosystem growth. Polkadot is dead, just over 3.5 billion staked DOT securing the network. That's more than 52% of TCS. Polkadot is dead, just offers the most sophisticated, fully decentralized <laughs> open governments system in the entire industry. Polkadot is dead, just has the man who built Ethereum, co-founder of Ethereum and founder of Dot, has him in some days as chief architect, pushing the code relentlessly, aka we're talking about Gavin Wood, of course. Polkadot is dead, just provides the safest and most unbreachable infrastructure with shared security. Polkadot is dead, just getting ready to witness the biggest transformation in Web3 history with Polkadot 2.0 by developing a more flexible and fundamentally better new model. So this is exciting. So it's Polkadot Dad, obviously not. Perfect. And there's your update, guys. It's still very much in the game. Smash the like <laughs> button. That was such a ridiculous, like, little segment. That's hysterical. Shout out to Allcoin Daily for the uh, the video. Let's see what Polkadot's at, actually. I'm going to go to the, the recap segment after we're done with these videos. All right, let's see. Um, <clears throat> Guys, hit that like button. Appreciate you for hanging out. I hate actually, you know what? It irks me really bad. I hate having to ask you guys to hit the like button, but it really is the only way for YouTube to like recognize your channel. I guess it's super annoying. Like it bothers me every time people ask me and I watch videos to hit the like button, but I don't know. I apologize for saying it so many times today. It's just, uh, yeah, unfortunately, if you don't do it, the YouTube algo, when it comes to the bull run, they're not going to be pushing your videos, which sucks. So is what it is. All right. We got polka dots at $5 52 cents up 1.2% today. Let's check on the max. <clears throat> Max chart. Oh God. Oh God. That is awful. That is awful looking. It was up over holy shit. It was up over 54 bucks. God damn. God damn. That's that's the maximum, right? Check out the year. Wait, hold on. This shit. Seven dollars? What's up seven dollars? What's that now? Five dollars fifty two cents, I guess. Hold on. That uh, that yeah. Alright, we have to do this again. What is happening here? On a 30 day there we go <clears throat> all right 
Uh, let's check out 90 day again. I mean, it's had a little bit of a run up. A bit of a run up from four bucks to whatever, 550 now. It's pretty good. Not bad. It's a dollar whatever more, right? What's the, where is that? It's ranked number 15. 15. What's the market cap? Let's just see. 7.2 billion. Okay. 7.2 billion. Now, and oh, look at this. Monero just flipped uh, Caspa. Looks like 13.8 we're at now for Caspa. It was at 14.2 this morning when we started. But XMR did just take a little bit of a hit. Actually, everything's taking kind of a little bit of a hit. Obviously, on the, the bright and early Monday morning, let's refresh this. Bitcoin again. God, I hate this site with all these freaking ads, man. Crazy. That's why I use Brave Browser, but it crashes my computer. All right, let's see what you guys are saying in the chat. If you guys have questions, please feel free to ask. Bitcoin is at 41.6. It was at almost 42,000 as soon as we started the stream. Crazy. BCH 244. We have Caspa again at 13.8. Oh, I got to scroll in and then there we go. You can see that. Looks like ICP is pretty uh, green today at five. Let's see, five dollars. Um, Crow is actually doing pretty good. Almost a 10 cents, nine six. Not too bad. Render is doing good as well. Dude, everything's really doing good. Even though there's a little bit of red, everything's still good. XRP is holding over 61 cents. Like Dogecoin's almost nine cents. It's it, Things are looking pretty good, at least in my opinion. All right, what are you guys saying in the chat? Uh, so close to 40K. Yes, I am almost at 40K subs. I really am. And I appreciate it. And I will definitely be doing some sort of giveaway. I'll have to get some stuff together and uh, do it for you guys. But I don't like to announce things to get subs. It's kind of a... I don't know. I don't like to shill things like that. It's weird, right? Like, you guys want to sub. I appreciate it. Awesome. But if you don't, I can't force you to. And I'm not going to, like, I don't want subs for a giveaway, right? So I'll do something for you guys at some point. But I'm going to wait until we get past the 40K. You know what I mean? All right. Let's see. Uh, Crypto KJ says, important Dynex news in Discord VIP. Shit. All right. Hold on. Let me get this uh, Discord open. Let me, let me switch screens quick. Let me see what uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, what's it called? Crypto KJ is saying, if you guys are a VIP of the channel, by the way, make sure you link your Discord with uh, YouTube and you will get access to the VIP chat. Let me see. What is this? Um, Hold on. <clears throat> Am I looking at the right thing? Let's see. Open this and I'm going to blow this up. I haven't even read this yet. Yeah, you guys see that all right? Maybe. All right, uh, at everyone, this is CostaLuckyMiners.io. Due to the fact that we have found some evidence of hidden miners for a narrow circle of people, unequal mining conditions, and the centralization of malobs, we are delisting Dynex coin from the pool. All outstanding balances will be paid by Wednesday, including weekly bonuses. We support only honest and transparent projects where everyone is on the equal conditions thanks for the understanding more new coins will come soon on the pool wow hold on. i want to let's see what is what's going on here what uh i'm not sure i under is this kind of like the srb bullshit is this kind of like the srb stuff can anybody like explain that please anybody in the chat let me see i get the chat back open because i actually had to turn it down. That's crazy. So, luckyminers.io is no longer going to be listing Dynex. Wow. Shout out to you, Crypto KJ. Thank you for letting me know. And uh, <clears throat> VLCACZ, I don't know. I don't know how to say your name, but thank you for posting that in Discord and VIP. That's awesome. Uh, something strange is happening. He said, I asked publicly in the pool section on the Dynex Discord, and someone immediately shut it down. Oh, shut down the lucky miners channel he said i know costa from flux discord he's a good guy yeah i'm gonna be honest i've talked to costa too and he's not a bad guy and that was uh blca cz actually said this in my uh vip wow that's that's really interesting all right guys i love you all unfortunately i have to go my kid is coming down the stairs as we speak so i'm gonna get bombarded in two seconds with two kids so hopefully you guys have a great and happy monday um i will keep you posted on this lucky miners thing i don't know what's going on but i'm gonna try to find out today and uh yes i will see you bright and early tomorrow morning 8 8 30 eastern standard time and until then enjoy your day and peace out guys have a good one